Hi guys, I'm Kasha. Welcome to my channel and to our coffee times together. And today I have a very nice book haul for you. Um, most of these books are secondhand and most of these books are books that I had ordered previous to my cats getting sick. It doesn't mean I'm in a book buying ban or anything like that, but it just means that the books I'm gonna be getting now are probably gonna be secondhand, really cheap books, books that I get with vouchers, things like that because I can no longer spend so much money in books and other things um, until I recover from you know all of the costs from the vet and the hospital and everything that I had to pay for my cats um, but yeah so these are the books that I had previously ordered before that um, they're still mostly all secondhand books because with some of the horror books that I want to collect um, you cannot find them really new anymore <laughs> so that's convenient um, yeah I have group the books in like non-horror and then you know YA horror, um, adult horror, so let's get to all of those books. It's coffee time! First I would like to talk about a couple of books that I got as a Christmas present. Uh, some beautiful people out there uh, were so kind to send me a book. Um, three of them come from members of the booktube community that I really love and one of them comes from one of my good friends in Spain So let's get to those first. The lovely amazing Ola decided to send me Let the Right One In by John I'm not even gonna attempt his surname <laughs> Um, so this is a book that I wanted to check out because I watched the original movie. I never watched the remake, even though it stars Chloe Moretz that I do like. But I watched the original movie and I absolutely loved it. It was creepy, it was different, it was disturbing, it was kind of, yeah, weird. Um, it was another approach to the vampire story and I absolutely loved it. But I never read the book. It's kind of chunky. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so it's kind of a little bit intimidating and I've heard that it's kind of different from the movie But I still really really want to check it out. So thanks so much Ola for sending this my way The next book I got from the lovely Kayla from crack into a good book and that is the invisible library by Genevieve Cockman and this is the first book in a series that I've always been intrigued about because it has to do with like alternate realities and libraries and books that need to be retrieved uh, like an adventure kind of mission thing so I've always thought I might enjoy this story um, and I know that she really likes the series because she's nearly read all of the volumes that are already out um, so yeah thank you so much Kayla for sending this my way I'm super excited to finally give this series a try and the last one that I got from the booktube community comes from also another amazing human being and that is Books Michelle. I got this one, Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman and she picked this one for me um, apart from that because it was on my wish list because she really loved this book and I have to admit myself <laughs> that I nearly picked it up a couple times when I was in London because they always had it there available. Um, and I never did, but I am intrigued about this book and if you don't follow Books Michelle, go ahead and do it. She is lovely. She is from the Netherlands, so she's Dutch and I really love her vlogs, especially if you love Harry Potter. You should check her out because she has done like full reviews on all the books, like long videos talking about them. So you'll really enjoy her channel if you like Harry Potter. And the last book that I got as a present comes from my Spanish friend, so the book is in Spanish. I don't think... Uh, it's been translated as far as I know so I'll just show you because it's really cute and it's this book here it's called Terror Vision which is like terror vision something like that um, and this is a book about all of those tales and old stories that have inspired horror in the modern cinema so yes please this is something totally down my alley i love to know you know the symbolism where stories come from the old tales that have inspired new movies new horror stories new creatures so yeah and it is absolutely beautiful um look at this cover it's just fantastic it's just mm, it's one of those books that you just fall in love with it's just so cute but yeah like i said this is a spanish book like written and edited by spanish people so I don't think it's available in English, but I just wanted to show it because it, it's very pretty. Now let's talk about the books that I picked up that are not horror related. The first one is 
this beautiful book here it's called firewalker and it is the second book after trial by fire by josephine angelini so um in twitter they hosted a readathon uh, for the book trial by fire and i decided to give it a go and i really enjoyed it because it was very dark and it was a little bit different it's fantasy but you're following somebody that is in our you know society right now in the present and then there is this kind of doorway to a fantasy world and i really love that concept and the the story was way darker than i expected so that's why i really loved it and it's only a trilogy so i feel like i can finish it <laughs> Um, so I decided to pick book two. I got this one secondhand, but it's in perfect condition. And under the dust jacket, I just saw it and I died. I mean, excuse me. Yes, absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, it's one of the trilogies that I really want to finish because I started it like, I, I think I read it in 2018 maybe, I'm not even sure. Um, but I, I want to finish it. The next book is a book that I picked up because somebody that I know loves witches said that this was a good book and I'm always up for a good book about witches and spells and that is Spellbook of the Lost and Found by Maura Foley Doyle. So not much that I know about this one apart that it has to do with the supernatural and sort of witchcraft. So yeah, I picked this one up and we shall see when I get to it but you know, I just wanted to get a copy. Next I have a book that I got with a voucher because it was on my wish list for the longest time and I decided now it's the time and that is Night Flyers by George R. R. Martin. This is a science fiction uh, book that he wrote and this is very short but this is the illustrated edition so this is the edition that I wanted um, and I have read only by him A Song of Ice and Fire and his vampire book called Fever Dream which is amazing if you're looking for a different vampire book and it's also not very uh, like long or anything. So I have never read science fiction by him so I'm excited. I know there is a Netflix show and they say the show was not good but the show also I heard had nothing to do with the book so maybe that's why it was a flaw, just saying. <laughs> um, yeah, so really excited to give this one a try. The next book I picked up only because the word bookstore is on the cover, like anything that has to do with libraries or bookstores, I, I, I just i am a sucker for those kind of stories and that is Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore by Robin Sloan and it's about a guy that starts to work kind of like a night shift in this bookstore and he realizes that the customers are coming in are not really buying stuff um, they're coming in to kind of borrow these dark volumes so there's a lot of this mystery and thing going on so I thought that was really interesting and I found this one secondhand for cheap so I decided to pick it up Next one is Lair of Dreams by Liva Bray. This is the second book on the Diviner series. Um, I read the first book last year, really, really loved it. And so I picked up book two right away, but I still have not read it. As you can see, it's sort of chunky, but I enjoyed the first one so much that I really want to continue the series this year. Next, I have a couple of hardcovers that I really wanted to get. The first one is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I love the Night Circus and I think if you like the Night Circus, obviously you've been waiting to get another book by this author. Um, they made us wait a little bit. And also this book, it's just gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Excuse me. Look at the back. Excuse me. And also, end pages. Yes, please. It's beautiful. Um, and this is just a regular edition. I know there's some exclusive editions out there but I just picked up the regular one through Amazon and yeah I don't know much about this one apart that it also has to do with a secret library and some stuff like that but because I love the Night Circus so much I wanted to pick up a copy. The next one is a book that I picked up also with a voucher and that is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Now my reason for picking up this book was that it just sounded like people were uncomfortable with the book because it was kind of weird and disturbing so I had to try it out <laughs> and you know when I see people saying like oh it was just too weird or too disturbing I'm like let me try that <laughs> so um, we're following the story of Alex and he is going to the University of Yale and I think that there is some I don't know if it's a secret society or some dark stuff going on there and he's also the only survivor of a series of like gruesome homicides or something like that like it just sounds dark and it's supposed to be disturbing so i'm gonna give it a try i've never read anything by Lee Bardugo before even though i wanted to i don't know if it's very smart to start with her latest novel but because people are either loving it or totally against it i just want to know 
you know, to which group I'm gonna belong to. So I'm really excited about this one. Now let's go to a couple of YA horror books that I picked up. The first one is Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender and I'm not sure if this is, was a trilogy or a series but this is something that I have seen people really praising and it is about Alexis and Alexis' sister, like younger sister, gets obsessed with an antique doll. I love horror and dolls and apparently after that weird things start to happen around the house you know doors closing the stove turning on by itself things like that so I, I was like yes please like creepy kids obsessed with antique dolls I'm gonna give this one a try also in order to expand a little bit my book collection when it comes to horror I decided to start collecting the point horror books and I have a couple that I picked up secondhand. They are not in the best condition but um, you know in the future if I find a better copy I can always exchange it. The first one is called Amnesia. Then I have Teacher's Pet. I had to because you know you can see the shadow of a cat like how can I not. And the other one that I picked up it is uh, the first book on Blood Curse. It's called Vampires love another topic that I love vampires. Then I have another book from a YA horror series that I've heard It's really good for being YA So I really want to try it and it's called Frozen Charlotte by Alex Bell um, The series I don't know if it follows the same story I think there are different stories, but they all have kind of like the similar covers um, Style so that pleases my OCD and I've heard really good things about it Like I said, so I just want to try it out and the last YA horror that I have for you I don't know too much about but I was really intrigued about it and that is daughters unto devils by amy lukavics and it is about this girl that she's living kind of like in a cabin with her family and she starts to have cabin fever and kind of uh, she's being hunted by all of these things and i just want to know it's a uh, kind of like short ish and it is also written by a female author um and i don't know it's just you know one of those books that the cover intrigues you the main kind of plot intrigues you and you really want to know yeah so this is one of them now we're moving to adult horror welcome so we have now uh, three books that i picked up in a second bookstore a long time ago but you know i've never hold them for you guys um the first one it's kind of like this paranormal horror um and that is dark oracle this is the first book on i believe it's a duology only um and it is about this girl that uh, tries to find you know the depraved the killers uh through divination like tarot card divination wink wink hola and so yeah i was like okay i'll pick this one up it was only a couple of bucks at the second hand bookstore um and i do want to read a little bit more of kind of paranormal romance horror books um they're kind of like a guilty pleasure so yeah i picked this one up next i picked up a zombie classic and that is dawn of the dead by george a romero again another one that i found at the second hand bookstore love the cover and love zombies i just realized that i'm wearing my dawn of the dead t-shirt coincidental totally but you know i just realized why am i such a dork sometimes nobody knows the next one is a book that I picked up because I know this author, you know, it's not for everybody but this book, specifically this edition, was just too good to leave it at the secondhand bookstore and that is Hunted by Chuck Palahniuk and this is a really large edition, um, a paperback but also it's one of those editions that, you know, you can open like this. <sighs> Love that. That was a selling point. I was like, I'm getting that book. I've never read this one before by him, so I'm also excited to give it a try. Moving on with more books that I got secondhand but not at the store, I just got them online normally because it's hard for me to find horror books in secondhand stores here over in Germany or the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, the first one is called The Animal Hour by Andrew Claban and I want to read specifically this one in October this year because it has to do with different stories that are happening in the morning of Halloween so I was like yes please then we have Brainchild by Andrew Niederman and first of all love this cover so much and it's about this kid you know um lewis and she has always felt different she's not interested in boys she's not interested in clothes or parties or anything she's just you know interested in science and she's kind of trying to find a way to control animals super interesting super interesting and you can see here in the cover she's holding like a little rat and i just i just love this cover so much next we have 
City of the Dead by Brian Keane and this is another zombie book that I picked up and in this case we have some survivors that are trapped in a 45 uh, skyscraper and they're just there as the zombie apocalypse I'm guessing is happening is happening outside so they're kind of trapped there trying to survive zombie stories. Next I have a book that I saw somebody recommending in booktube and I thought it sounded so great. Again we're talking about people that are trapped in a building. I I really like that if you have not noticed by now and that is Security by Gina Wolsorf and it is about these like resort that it's gonna be so awesome and it's gonna open its doors but before they even open the stuff is trapped inside and they're going to be killed one by one something like that. I love scenarios in which people are put in a place where they either have to kill each other, where they're being killed one by one. I just really love that kind of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Next is a book by an author that I really want to try hopefully this year and that is The Troop by Nick Cutter. I've heard this is very disturbing, gross. <laughs> Um, I think there's body horror in this, I'm not really sure, um, yeah, but it's supposed to be really like uncomfortable, um, so I'm excited to give it a try and it's about this troop of boys that are in the Canadian wilderness and it's supposed to be like a camping trip, you know, ghost stories in the campfire, but I'm guessing things go wrong like they always do, um, so yeah, I definitely want to try this one out and if I like it, I'll pick up more of his works. And since last year, I absolutely loved Endless Night by Richard Lehman. I decided to pick up more of his books. So I got a bunch of them secondhand so that I could read some of them this year, hopefully. So I got all of these. These are all secondhand paperbacks from Richard Lehman. So I'm just gonna quickly let you know which ones I picked up without going too much into detail. The first one is called The Woods Are Dark. And by the time you watch this video, I might have already read this because this is on my favorite TBR pile. Then I have The Midnight Tour, which sounds super interesting to me. I think there's some tours going on in this mansion and then one of the uh, groups of people that go there, you know, get trapped there and something happens. So exciting. Um, then I have The Cellar. I mean, this cover, beautiful. I love the simplicity of this cover, but how creepy it is. And then I have Savage. Savage love it and i'm trying to get them in matching kind of editions as well and then i have richard layman no sanctuary and this also i got second hand for like three bucks and it's like new um so i'm really pleased with this ones that i got second hand and the last thing that i want to mention in this book haul that is already way too long um it is a graphic novel that i picked up and that is lock and key volume two I love the first volume. I would love to finish reading the whole series before the TV show airs in Netflix, but honestly, they are so expensive. I cannot afford them right now. So I'm getting them secondhand. These I also got secondhand, but even secondhand, sometimes you pay like 10 bucks for them. In new condition, they are like 25 to 30, which is absurd. Um, and I'm trying to get them, like I said, secondhand. So I was still able to get this one last year for like around 10 bucks. Um, it is hardcover though. So, you know, if it's 10 bucks, it's fine with me. It's just now because I'm trying to save up um, a lot to pay all the cat debts that I have. Um, I don't think I'll be able to finish it before this show airs on Netflix, which is sad because then I'm gonna have to postpone watching the show because I do want to finish the graphic novels first. And these were all the books that I have been collecting in the last couple of months. Um, most of them, like I said, are secondhand, so I'm trying to get a lot of those old, nice horror paperbacks secondhand for the collection and to talk to you a little bit more about uh, horror books see if I can introduce you to authors you don't know or you, maybe you know there is a horror genre that you love and I mentioned a couple of books that you know have to do with ghosts or uh, haunted houses or things like that that you enjoy um, so yeah let me know down below what you thought about this book haul if you love any of these books let me know in the comments down below so these were all the books that I have been collecting in the last couple of months I know there is a lot of horror in this book haul, so I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that maybe you discovered a couple of books that sound interesting to you that you didn't know of. Let me know in the comments down below if you have already read any of these books and loved it. So let me know please in the
in the comments so I might prioritize that one um, thank you so much for watching you guys I really appreciate your support remember before you leave this coffee time video give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here want to join the coffee times click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and I'll see you all in the next coffee time bye